Hello! In this video, we're going to learn about this wonderful modifier called static. Many of you in my class have seen it. Those of you that aren't in my class, I'm sure have seen it before and might have wondered what it meant. And today we're finally going to demystify that word. So, to help explain what a static modifier does, we've created what's called a patient class. And this patient class is going to create patient objects that a doctor might use to keep track of their clientele. So in the patient class, we have three fields. We have a field called name, which stores the patient's name. We have one called ID number, which stores the identification number of that patient. And we have one called num patients, because it's good to know how many patients are in the practice. We have a constructor here. Um, remember, a constructor is always named with the same name as the class. There's no return type. And we don't have to write a constructor, because the Java will create a default constructor which will set all your values to their default values. Any reference type to null, integers, doubles to zero, booleans to false. But it's good to write a constructor. And remember that once a constructor is written, the default constructor disappears. We have some basic methods. We have all our get and set methods as well as a nice two string method. So if we come over here to patient runner, what I've done is I've created three instances of patient. Um, P1, P2, and P3, and then I've printed them out. And so if I run this, we see we get, if I run this, oh, there it goes, we see we get patient one, we get name, patient one, ID one, total patients one. And what we notice right away is that the total patients isn't correct. The total patients should be three. So this is where we start to explore an idea called static fields, or what are called class fields. So class fields are fields that are the same for every instance. And that's kind of how you ask yourself whether or not a, a field is going to be a static or class field. So in our case, we know that num patients for every single patient will be the same. If I change it, if I add one new patient to the practice, every instance has to have that field modified. So when a field is the same for every instance, we make it a class or static field. And we simply do this by adding a modifier, static. And what this tells Java is that if I change num patients for any instance of the class, it gets changed for every instance. So what we want to take away from this is a static field or class field is one that is the same for all instances. If it is changed in one case, it is changed for all the cases. So now if we go back to patient runner and I run this, what's going to happen is we're going to create instance P1 and we say new patient P1 and 1. So that's going to invoke the constructor. Let's pop in here and here's my constructor. And we know that num patients right now is zero because we have no instances. So num patients is equal to num patients plus one. So the number of patients in our system is now one. Then once that line is executed, we go to the next line and create patient P2. And so we're passing to the constructor the string P2 and the integer 2. So now when it comes back into the constructor, we set the name and ID like we're used to. But since num patients is in fact a static or class field, Java knows that there's already a value of 1 in there. So num patients gets incremented 2. And then that happens for P3 and it becomes 3. So now when I run this, total patients turns to 3. So just to kind of really wrap up the essence of what we want to take from this video is that there are these, there's a new consideration we want to take into account when thinking of attributes of an object. And that is, will the attribute be the same for all instances of the class? So if that is the case, we make it what's called a static field. And by making it a static or class field, that means that if we change it for one instance, it changes for all instances. There, if you want to redo a little further reading into this, what you'll learn is that this in part has a benefit in terms of memory that's required. If we have a static field, if we have 1,000 instances of patients, we're going to have 1,000 instances of this string field, 1,000 instances of this ID integer field, but there'll only be one instance of this integer field, num patients, because it's static. The computer only needs one copy of it because every instance has the same value. I hope this video helped.
In the next video, we're going to look at static methods.